Hey, what's up guys? We're back with, with another NFL record prediction. Before I get started, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Only 12% of you guys that watch my videos are subscribed, so let's try to get that number up a little bit. We're only three away from 300 subscribers right now. Please help me out and help me hit that goal. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into today's prediction. Today we're predicting the Dallas Cowboys record for 2021. Um, you know... First off, I want to say this division, the NFC East, has in recent years kind of been the laughing stock of the NFL. Um, you know, I, I'm sure you've heard the meme, you know, NFC least, you know, things like that. But in all honesty, this year it's looking like a quite a bit better division, if I'm being honest. Um, I think, I think there could honestly be two teams from this division that make the playoffs. Um, I think I think it'll be really competitive. Um, I will say I don't think the Eagles are going to do a whole lot in the division. I'm just going to put that out there. I don't think the Eagles are going to do a whole lot. But I think it'll be competitive between the football team, Giants, and Cowboys. So with that out there, let's go ahead and jump into today's prediction. Um, so first off... I, but they're starting off the the season against Tom Brady and the Bucks. I I don't really see Dallas winning this game. I I mean yeah it'll be a really good like offensive battle because Dallas I think could be a top five offense and the Bucks obviously with Tom Brady and their weapons are probably also going to be a top five offense. In on in all honesty, um, but the Bucks I feel like just have a much better defense. I don't think the Cowboys are gonna win that one. Week two we have the Cowboys at Chargers, and I'm actually really high on the Chargers this year. I think they could very well win ten or eleven games. I think Justin Herbert is the real deal. I think their defense is gonna take a big step forward with their new head coach and having Derwin James healthy. I was also a big fan of their Asante Samuel pickup in the draft. I think I think the Chargers team is going to be a lot better. Um, and I think the Chargers pull it off. I think that'll be a really fun game to watch between Dak and Justin Herbert. But I think the Chargers ultimately pull it off. Now, week three, I'll be honest, I initially had actually the um, Eagles and Cowboys splitting with each other. And I think that could still happen, but like, I just think the Cowboys are a much better team. I think I'm going to reverse that and actually have the Cowboys sweep the Eagles. I don't think the Eagles have really that great of a secondary. Um, the rest of their defense is honestly getting quite a bit older. Their offensive line doesn't look great. They just, I don't, I'm not confident in that, in that Eagles team this year. Week four, okay, this is honestly a really tough one for me. Um, it kind of hurts to say because I will be honest, I am a big Panthers fan. But you know what? I think the Cowboys are going to beat us. I think it'll be a tough game. I think it'll be very competitive. I think it'll go down to the wire. But I think the Cowboys win. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to put up more points than, than Dallas. Um, week five, I do have the Giants splitting with the Cowboys, though. I think I think these teams... So the Giants have a much better defense. I think they could have, honestly, a top three secondary in the NFL. Um, and at least a solid front seven. It's not going to be anything special, but it'll be solid. But the Cowboys have a much better offense. And these teams always go at it. These teams always are competitive. You know, even if one team that season is much better. So, I'm going to have them win in their respective stadiums. But, I mean, I could see it happen either way. Um, week 6, we have the Cowboys at the Patriots. Um, Patriots, I think, will be actually a pretty good team this year. I think they had a really good off season. I'm not sure by this time in the year if it'll still be Cam Newton or if it'll be Mac Jones. 
I'll be honest, okay? I really like Mac Jones as a person. I think he's got a good personality. I think he can be a solid leader. But I just don't really see all that much potential for him as a passer, as an actual quarterback. I... And I'll be honest, by this time in the season, it might be Mac Jones playing. I know it's hard to give it to the Cowboys when they're playing in Foxborough, but I think I'm going to give it to the Cowboys. I think I think Cowboys win that one. Um, then we've got Week 8. Um, Dallas is coming off a bye, traveling to Minnesota against the Vikings. This is also another very tough game because I'm I'm pretty high on the Vikings this year too. I think they could win ten or eleven games. Um, I've got to keep it. I've got to keep it real. I think the Vikings are going to win this one. I think the Vikings have, you know, obviously a top three running back. Um, Justin Jefferson, in my mind, is, you know, a borderline top five receiver. They've got a much improved offensive line. I I think the Vikings are a better team. If they were playing in Dallas, I'd probably give this one to the Cowboys. But where they're playing in Minnesota, I'm giving this one to the Vikings. Week 9, for those of you who watch my videos, you'd know I'm not super high on the Broncos at all. Um, in fact, I'm a lot lower on them than a lot of other people. I mean, they're over-under thing is like eight and a half wins they're not getting eight and a half wins like i think i think they're honestly gonna get four or five wins if i'm being honest um i think the cowboys win this one honestly i'll be honest i think the broncos defense is a little bit overrated too i was looking at some stats from last year and most of their stats like like i want to say they were like 22nd or 23rd in points allowed um, they were like 20th in passing yards allowed per game. I think they were like 23rd or 24th in rushing yards allowed per game. Like their defense just is not as good as people say it is. I get the having Von Miller back will help that a little bit. But let's be honest, the Broncos aren't a top five defense. Heck, I don't think they're even a top 10 defense. I'm being honest that's just my opinion on it week 10 we have the Falcons at Cowboys this could honestly be a really exciting game to watch I think it'll be a very offensive game I'm I think it's going to be really exciting I think the Cowboys did more for their defense this year than the Falcons did though including getting you know Keanu Neal and was it DeMonte KZ that the Cowboys also got? Basically, their two best safeties. I mean, I'm giving this one to the Cowboys. I think I think they've got the better defense, and I think they'll be able to get a couple stops and win the game. Week 11, we have the Cowboys at Chiefs. Um, I am actually... Sorry, Cowboys fans. I think I'm going to give this one to the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs just... They've got too much firepower. This is going to be another exciting game, though. Okay? I think this will be a really, really fun game to watch. Um, I mean, Patrick Mahomes and Dak Prescott going going at it. It's going to be a really fun game. It's going to be a lot of points scored. I also saw today that um, Frank Clark on the Chiefs actually just got arrested. So Cow or the, the Chiefs' defensive line may struggle a little bit. So there's going to be a lot of points scored. But ultimately, I think Patrick Mahomes will be able to pull it out and win it. But I'm excited for that game. Week, week 12, for those of you who watch my channel, again, I'm not real high on the Raiders either. I don't think the Raiders are going to be a very great team in 2021. I, I mean, here's my thing with the Raiders. They completely tore apart... The only good thing on that team, besides Derek Carr, their offensive line. They got rid of Trent Brown, Rodney Hudson, who was a Pro Bowl center, and um, Gabe Jackson. Okay, they're three best offensive linemen. And replaced him with 
below average players. I I don't know what what the Raiders are thinking in doing that, but I'm giving this one to the Cowboys 100%. Week 13, Cowboys and Saints, when they play, they tend to really go at it. Um, I feel like they're really close games, but they don't have Drew Brees anymore to really keep it a safe game anymore. I mean, I, I think the Cowboys win this one. The Saints defense also is aging. It's not... You know, it's not that young, explosive, but disciplined defense anymore. It's 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 aging, and I'm not real. Con- I think Jameis Winston could be solid, but I'm not super confident in him as a starter. Um, so I think the Cowboys pull that one out. Week 14, we have the Cowboys at football team. I think I think these teams split with each other. I think. I think they win in their respective stadiums. I'm really high on the football team's defense. For those of you who watched my previous prediction of the Washington football team, I think they could very possibly have the best defense in the NFL. I'm really high on them. But the Cowboys, like I've also mentioned, I think will have a top five offense. I think I think they'll be able to both pull out a win here and split. Um, week 17, we have the Cardinals at Cowboys. This is kind of where it really gets tough for me. I'm going to give this one to the Cardinals. I think their offensive weapons and Kyler Murray's mobility is just going to be too much for the Cowboys' defense to handle. And I think the Cardinals have a much better defense than the Cowboys, and I think they'll be able to get a couple more stops. So overall, this will give the Cowboys a ten and seven record. Um, yeah, this this was a tough prediction. There's some games here I could see the Cowboys winning, or even ones I predicted them to win that they could lose. Um, like they could they could beat the Chargers, they could beat the Vikings, um, they very well could beat the Cardinals. But on the flip side, I could also potentially seeing them lose to the Falcons um they could possibly lose to the Panthers but I think 10 and 7 is a solid record for them and I think I think it'll be just enough for them to get into the playoffs so um Cowboys fans let me know your prediction in the comments section below again please do me a huge favor and smash that like button and subscribe um it'll really help me out um And I will see you next time. Later.